Your icon is right there. My application is a guide for my city in Malaga, well, my city in Spain, Malaga. And I use the coffee uh, to catch uh, the eye of the people who's interested to know about the city. So it's a curiosity, something totally different that you're not gonna find in another city. And with that, I'm gonna kind of like drive the way of the whole application. Okay. So this is it. Um, you have the whole different kind of coffees with the name underneath. So you know what amount of coffee you're gonna have if you ask for it. And it's a bottom when you touch it you have all the information and each one is going to have different information about the city this one just explain uh how all these different coffees uh appear what is the story about it and who invaded it and uh, you kind of scroll it and at the end you're always going to have like one picture a few pictures <clears throat> you can go back to the menu and they're gonna be all like that. This is history about Malaga. This is like the main sites, like the popular places you can go. Um, this one, for example, is the museums because Picasso was born in my city. Mm -hmm. So you have like the museums or the art that you can go see. And the last one, for example, is just a map. And the last one, call, it's called Don't Even Bother, because it's like too many copies. It's like, OK, I don't want anyone. <laughs> it's fine. But so you don't get crazy, you have the maps. And you can just go see like where are the places that I've been talking about in the, in the other windows and you have three different maps yeah. so you can find the places and you see this is Museum Picasso now is there pinch zooming on those or just scrolling around? no it's just scrolling you cannot yeah I would like to make it so you can make it small and get a general view mm -hmm. about it yeah so this is the application. Very good. Okay. Beautiful. Basically, that's it. So, an informative app for tools. Yeah. Things like that. Okay. Well, rotate it around and then double the view so that um, you can see it. There you go. You see the two times button right there? There you go. And basically, the first screen um, are just tips before getting started. What you should need, what you need to know, um, and it scrolls. You can scroll through the instructions. Um, the second tab gives information about flowers, and it's like the nine easiest um, annuals that you can grow. And this gives you information about them before you buy the seeds or something. But it gives you, because I named it Gnome Garden, I wanted to give like a little fun tab with the history of garden gnomes. Just for fun. Oh, that's nice. So. Loads up with a splash screen. No, it doesn't. It should have. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't, but it had a splash screen. But this is the, the basic view. Got an array animation going with the eyes. Add some fun and creepiness to it. Um, have drag gestures here. Drag and put it, you know, if you want to feed some milk, feed me. <laughs> and then when you're done with milk, take it back. Then we'll go with peanut butter next peanut butter is not dragging. Okay. You want grapes instead. I want grapes instead, so. And the funny thing is, he doesn't really chew, he kind of gums them. 
so. <laughs> Genesis Way is, is more disturbing. So. Really? Oh, there it is. Okay. This is my favorite one. I really wanted it to work because it looks really good when the animation is going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The basis behind my app was to create something that would be more useful when instructors are teaching the class that is more friendly than a textbook. And this is the um, tab that shows like all the equipment that you would need and you can take and move icons or the labels to where they're supposed to be and they all move and it scrolls like fins down here and then it flips You're supposed to flip and that shows you all your answers, so if you get confused, it gets them to you for you. And it flips back, so if you need to go back and say, oh, this goes here, you can. So there's my app right here. Open it. You can't see anything. It just says that it's a proof of concept, because right now there's no functionality. And you'll see why. But we have a camera view here, which is glared out. But you can see the camera API is running and picking things up. So if we have our E right there in the corner, we're going to take this and point it at it, it will render a cube. Just a very basic rainbow cube. And if we move the marker, it will follow it in a full 360 degree fashion, as well as scale it depending on how close the camera gets to the marker. Now the way that this happens, the way that I ended up implementing this was creating the cube with OpenGL ES, which is a 3D rendering framework for the iPhone or iOS in general. And as far as marker tracking, I did that through a framework called NYATLA, created by a group in Japan, which specifically tracks 80 uh, millimeter markers. You can create the marker however you want as long as it's a pattern file, which just converts this black and white into hexadecimal format. So whenever the camera picks up this black and white configuration, it'll handle it however you define it to. So obviously I define this to just render a cube dependent on the location and the position of the E. So if the E moves, then the cube moves along with it. And that is uh, the extent of what this does. Uh, there's no functionality, like really practical functionality behind this. Just a proof of concept, a way to get my foot in the door to really do more interesting things with augmented reality. Uh, my name is Christina Dotson, and this is my app for friendship bracelets. On the first tab here, we have four different categories of difficulty of different bracelets. You see beginner, intermediate, experts, and only for the insane. <laughs> if you go to beginners, you have an option of beginner bracelets you can choose. If you like this one, you can go and it gives you a step-by-step guide how to make this bracelet. And we can hit the back button, which I want to make bigger um, eventually. And if we want to go to a different category, we can go to, you know, for really hard bracelets, it just shows the pattern. So once you become uh, familiar with the bracelet techniques, you can just look at a pattern. Um, if you go to the second tab, it gives us four options. If you go to the For Beginners button, we see tutorials of um, how to make different knots and how to attach jewelry to the bracelets. For the second button, um, there are different color swatches that the user can move to see how different colors interact with each other. Um, and the fourth tab is just a um, simple text view to write, you know, what bracelets you want to do in the future, if you want to do them for. Yeah. I, did, I didn't do a splash screen because uh, basically I don't know what, what I would have done different from that, so I just went ahead and just took takes you straight into to the application. And uh, so I have down here, you can't really see it too well, this uh, graphic design 101, a design reference. And I have three tabs. One is document setup. Uh, once for designing and once for exporting and printing. Um, so we'll go to document setup. And I, I did the page peel because I thought with like 
teaching you about print documents, the page peel seemed actually pretty, kind of fitting. And um, so you can go into, uh, you know, set up your document size and it shows you uh, here's some uh, common sizes um, that, that probably if you're not, like I said, I, I forgot to say this, it's not for designers really. If you're a graphic designer professionally, you're probably not going to need this application because you already know all this. But um, this is for someone that doesn't. So I, I put like letter, legal, tabloid, A3, posters, business cards, uh, brochures, sizes like that. Teach about bleeds and margins, uh, what those are, that kind of thing. And then uh, every, uh, I did have a, a tab bar at the top, like the, the default Apple thing, but I didn't like it. So I just went ahead and made my own title and uh, back button. And so uh, teach you about resolution, just the basics of resolution, um, color mode, uh, CMYK, RGB, spot colors, just uh, basic things. And, and uh, let's see, designing. This one was kind of hard because there's a lot of ways you can go, but I just chose, uh, you know, you can sort of pick from a color scheme and I, and I put uh, color wheels on there, show you complimentary, monochrome, just different things that they, they might choose from and some resources at the bottom. Um, back button works. Typography and layout. Uh, I don't have to show you guys all of these, but I did typography and layout, just to, to some, some general rules to kind of follow for, for those. Exporting and printing. Um, I just put different file formats and kind of what they're, kind of what they're used for generally. I went with the, the minimalist and kept the colors the same. The, the, the you know the green button you hit it and it takes everything within it is uh, got the green theme um, to keep things consistent. Okay, good job. Dave.